morning slash afternoon. I'm kind of eating brunch. I mean, some spam. Um, got a little milk, chocolate milk. Um, looking at my Kansas City Chiefs class that I got for Christmas at my Christmas party for work. Everybody knows I'm a Chiefs fan. I've always been a Chiefs fan, and I'll never change being a Chiefs fan. I don't care what people say about the Chiefs. You know, yeah, they may not be the winning team all the time, but they are my team, and they have their moments. You know, it's like with everybody else in life. They have their moments. They tendency to... You know, it's just like part of life. You know, you tendency to um, have your moments in life. You know, you don't know where you're going at. You don't know where, you know, what's the purpose. You know, what's the meaning. And, and that's the thing. You don't know where it's going. And when you don't know where it's going, you know... Pretty much, you're just lost. Um, that, that's how I come to the conclusion. Only thing is, I was stuck in that state for a long, long time. I didn't know really what my purpose was. And then, somebody told me at work, um, you know, you have that personality where, you know, you should, you know, be a motivator. You should be, you know, um, something spontaneous than working at where I'm at. And because, you know, they see something in me than what other people see in me. And then, because that's what I am. I'm a motivator. You know, that's what I do. I motivate people to do something. To do something with their life. Instead of just being, oh yeah, you know, I, I have a boring life, you know, I, you know, you know, my girlfriend doesn't want nothing to do with me, or my boyfriend doesn't want nothing, nothing to do with me, or my husband or wife doesn't want nothing to do with me because I'm so boring. Well, change it, change it up, change it up on who, who, me, change it up a little bit. Do something different for her or him or your wife or your husband, whatever. Do something different. And and that's the thing, you know. If you make a change for yourself, um, maybe a different look, you know. Me, I'm trying to grow the beard out. You know, everybody, my family doesn't really have too, too much care for me having the beard. But... Everybody else that I know of, that I've been around, they say I look more older. They say I don't look more of like, oh, what you people call it, baby face. You know, I don't have that baby face anymore. And it's because I look older. But probably when I shave it off in the summer, I'll probably end up um, shaving it off in the summer. I don't know. I might grow it. You know, who knows? Uh, I don't know yet. But I'm going to try to grow it in the wintertime, see what I look like with the beard. But I'm just trying something different. And, and so far, everybody seems to, well, all my friends seem to like it. They think it's fly. They think it's hip. They think it's cool. And, you know, most people don't even know what fly means. Fly means, you know, it's a, it's a rad style, you know, or back in the 80s they use that word a lot back in the 90s they use that word a lot and you know now I wouldn't say this uh, they gener generation does not use fly for a word um, they use more cool or rad or um, gnarly or something like that or Dope, you know, it, you know, that's dope, you know, they'll say something like that, but the thing of it is, is that you gotta have that mindset, you know, on change in life, on, you know, if you feel like you're lost, and, you know, and 
on the inside. You know, if you feel like you're lost on the inside, don't know where to go, you know, with your life, and you're trying to find a meaning behind it, um, I've been I've been there a few times. You know, I've been there a few times thinking, you know, man, you know, life is boring, and and that's what um, what it comes down to. You know. That's what I thought for a long time, you know, I always thought life was boring, and, and I was just lost, you know, I just didn't care, you know, I just, you know, I was just that way, and now, since, you know, I'm bettering myself, I'm doing things more, and, you know, being active more, and, plus, you know, with me working a 40-hour work week, plus doing YouTube on the side, and, plus doing my workouts, getting my workouts in, um, I'm still getting healthy and everything else. And that's the thing. Most people tend to see to, you know, eat a lot of junk food. You know, I, I belt on junk food and once in a while. It just depends on how I feel. And the only time I belt on junk food is when either I'm drunk or, or if I'm drinking. Um, that's about the only... Only time I village on junk food, but most of the time I'm either eating beef jerky for protein. Um, I to have a lot of intake of protein. Um, I eat a lot of protein stuff like meats and everything else. I'm a meat eater. I'm not really a vegetarian. I do eat salads in once in a while. But I just don't do it all the time because doing salads all the time, you know, it's old. It don't have the same boring diet routine so I just eat whatever I want like today I'm eating spam you know how we can and I, and I cooked it so some people eat it straight out of the can I don't I, I cook the stuff I don't like eating it straight out of the can you know it's just something wrong something nasty about it that I don't like When it's out of the can, straight out of the can. Now tuna. Now on the other end, tuna a can of tuna. I will open that shit up, eat it out of the can, straight out of the can, without mixing it up with no mayo or not. But when it comes to spam, I cook it. So that's a little change, change of eating things. You know, I used to eat tuna with mayo, put it on a sandwich. But now it's like, I mean, I saw another YouTuber do it. Um, I don't know if you heard of him. Sean G. Go check his channel out. Um, subscribe to his channel. He's got the dopest channel on YouTube. Um, hands down. No questions asked. Um, good guy. I've talked to him on the phone a few times. And, you know... I never met the dude, but I've been trying to get him to come here to, you know, set up an interview and trying to get him to come here to Missouri and we do a workout video together and I've been trying to do that, but I have not yet. I hadn't given him to, you know, say yes to it yet. And, you know, Sean G, if you're saying, you know, seeing this channel, seeing this video, you know, message me up, man, you know, anytime. You know, if you come to Missouri at any time, unless if I'm at work, don't do it during the week. But if you do it on the weekends, I can do it any time, man. Any time does not matter to me. Um, we can get this workout video in, get done, and you can be on your way and heading back wherever you need to be. You know, and yeah, it's just... Um, it was the whole reason why I started doing kept more of calisthenics um i came across those videos and good motivator good positivity person um i never i never really seen a bad side video of him um i don't know how he how his negativity side is um but when it, you know that's the thing, you know, most people don't really tend to see to put negativity things on YouTube because nobody wants to listen to negative. 
And that's the thing, you know, which I totally understand, you know, nobody wants to listen to having a bad day, you know, whatever, you know, they don't care about you, you having a bad day, they just want to hear about something positive, something that you can do in life, and he motivated me to start doing calisthenics again, and I mean, I used to be in nothing but, you know, when I first got a weight, you know, I did both, but I mean, I wasn't really in top physical shape, and so I seen his routine, I'm like, I'm gonna try this, and I'm gonna try it in small, small sets, and I worked my way up, and I tell you what, you know, if you try some of his workouts, I mean, I tell you what, it it's brutal, and I mean, I don't do the burpees or nothing like that, but I do like just normal push-ups, you know, the normal squats, um, calf raises, and stuff like that that he does, and it's just, it's just brutal. And doing it, doing it how he does it, I mean, it you work you work up a sweat. I mean, I don't care who you are, what you're about, you know. If you do a workout like that, you tend to see the work of sweat, and that's the whole thing I like about working out because you work a sweat, you work a sweat, and you tend you tend to see to. work a sweat and be you know be better as of yesterday I should say yeah you work a sweat you'd be better as yesterday that's a new thing there being better as yesterday as of today you know if you do something positive throughout the day and let's say you get up and work out you know whatever you know, you do that, and you tend to see the get up, do a workout throughout the day, and you know you're being better than what you were yesterday. Or if you go out and do a good deed for the day, you're still being better because you're setting an example for other people going out and doing a good deed for somebody else, and somebody will see that and they'll walk up to you and say, "Hey, man, I saw what you done. I like that." You're cool, and that was cool. And they'll see that, and they'll turn around and just go and do it themselves. You know, you'll be setting an example on, you know, if you spread positivity instead of negativity, this is how I see it. You know, air, you know, the world ain't perfect. You know, the world ain't perfect. Nobody's perfect. You know, there's only one person that is perfect if you believe in them. That is God, which, you know, I believe in God myself, you know, I'm a Christian, I've always been a Christian, and, but, I'm just saying, it's just that, it, if you always do something good, you know, it makes you feel good. If you always do something good, it makes you feel good, but if you do something bad, it always makes you feel worse. That's right. Always makes you feel worse because when you do something bad, you know you you do the you do the time, you do the crime. Do something bad, you do the time, you do the crime, and and that saying is true. You know, if you do the time, you do the crime. Um, you know, do something bad or whatever, then. That's something you got to just put up with the rest of your life. But you learn from your mistakes on the choices you make in life to be a better person than what you were yesterday. That way you won't fall for that again. Set me down at 4. Signing out. Please hit the like. Hit the comment and subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Get all Hit all on the bell notification. See you in the next video. Peace.